everyone, my name is Hannah. I'm a senior here at UWS, majoring in elementary education, and I'm going to give you a tour today. As you can see behind me, this is our campus map, just showing you an overview. This is our main circle of campus. It's where our Yellow Jacket Union is, admissions office, and our cafeteria is in here. Right next to that is Swenson Hall, it's our main academic building. We have Old Main um, with Financial Aid Office, Cashier's Office, um, Chancellor's Office. Next to that is Erlinson. It's our business building. So if you're a business major, that's where you'll have some of your classes. Um, and then Barstow, that's our science building. Right outside of that is our library. And right down the sidewalk, we have Holden and Fine Arts. So that's our music, art, choir, band building. We have our wellness center right here. And right next to the wellness center, we have our freshman residence hall. So that's convenient. You don't have to walk too far to go work out. Uh, then we have two other options for residence halls. This is Crown Heart, so right next to campus, upperclassmen. And then about five blocks this way, right here, we have Ross Hawks. Um, but that's the only part of campus that's really separated. Otherwise, everything is very close together. Uh, my freshman year, when I lived in Kern McNeil, I could still make it to my 8 a.m. if I left here at 757. So you don't have to walk very far, which is great. We're going to start in the Yellow Jacket Union. So this is kind of the middle building of campus. This is where people come in during the day, hang out, study, uh, do homework. So you can see there's tables and chairs throughout. There's no classes in this building. Um, there's the cafeteria. So that's right back over here. And then along with the cafeteria, we have three other options where you can get food. Right in front of me is the brick oven grill. So that's your fast food options, your burgers, your fries, um, tear tots. So if you don't have a full hour for lunch, you can uh, eat there. It's grab and go. Uh, right here we have caribou. So coffee, smoothies, just college essentials. And then around the corner, we have Sonos. So that's kind of like our version of Chipotle, chicken quesadillas, uh, rice bowls. So those, those three options are nice if you don't have a long time or if you just wanted to eat something quick. Um, you can purchase those through Jacket Cash, which come along with the meal plans. We're now going to go over to our bookstore and supply. So this is still all in the Yellow Jacket Union. We have sweatshirts, shirts. Um, this is also where you get your books. So you bring your schedule in and they'll help you find them. We have a couple options. You can rent, buy, use, buy new. Um, if you do have to buy them, there's a buy back process at the end of the semester. So if you don't want to use them again, you could hopefully get some money back. This corner back here is kind of our quieter study area of the Yellow Jacket Union. The main part gets a little noisy around lunchtime, so everyone's here hanging out and talking. Um, not a bad thing, but if you need to get homework done, this is the corner to come. And this right here is our nap pod. So this goes in front, so you can recline back and take a nap. So if you don't want to walk all the way back to your room, don't worry, we got you. Alright, now we are going to head over to Swenson Hall. As I mentioned at the beginning of the tour, this is our main academic building. So this is where majority of your classes will be, especially um, as a freshman. Three floors. Um, on each of the floors, we have tables, chairs. It looks similar to this. So you can do homework, study before the next class. Um, I like to get all my homework done before leaving here, so that's why when I went back to my room, I wouldn't have to worry about it. So that was one of the goals that I had. Straight back here, we have our computer lab. You have $30 of printing credit per semester. Um, and that's already built in, so if you need to use it, it is there for you. Then across from the computer lab, we have our tutoring corner. So that's right back here. We have a math tutoring lab and a writing center. So those are both jobs that you could have on campus if you're proficient in math or writing. Um, otherwise, they are student-led, so you just get a different perspective from the professor. Um, sometimes I've had professors require you to visit the writing center if you're starting a big project, just to make sure you're going in the right direction before you spend hours and hours on it. Um, as far as having a job on campus, I think it was a great opportunity. I had two jobs, met some great people, 
schedules are really flexible if you you know have a big project or a big exam to study for um, working on campus will make it possible to change your schedule a little bit so I loved I loved my experience and would highly recommend it to anyone who's thinking about it we're gonna go in the lecture hall so this was right behind me um, this is our largest lecture hall on campus it's about fits about 60 people I had one class in here and just a general health and wellness class um, but most of my classes even freshman year I had a class of 12 so most of your classes will not be this big the average is 14 to 1 um, and along with being the class sizes being so small you also are with a lot of the same people throughout your program so you really get to know them you really get to know your professors and you just yeah you build friendships that you'll hopefully have a long time even after college we are now going to go to walk to old maine so um as i mentioned just kind of in the beginning this is where our financial aid office is so that is where um, scholarships, FAFSA, grants, loans, that's where you go talk to them. So that's just going to be right in here. Um, the other important office in here is the cashier's office. So that's where you pay your bills. Um, other than that, there's just like chancellor's office and some other um, offices in this building. And we have our auditorium, um, which there's often music performances in there. It's a beautiful place. We're going to head over to the library. Uh, personally, I love coming to the library because if I see other people doing homework, then it motivates me to do homework. Uh, we're going to go right upstairs. This is my favorite place to come. Um, so it's cozy. You have a fireplace, especially if you come here in the evening, you can watch the sunset. Uh, we also have these great things called study rooms in the library that you can check out um, there's table chairs whiteboard in there tv so they're great for group projects getting together getting stuff done um yeah that is the library we are now gonna head over to our wellness center so pointed out in the beginning this is right next to the residence halls we're gonna go right inside here so this is our Markovich wellness center um, it's open 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., so if you like the early morning working out or the late at night, personally, I'd be in bed by 9.30, so I'm not all about the 11 p.m. workout time, but if you are, be my guest. Um, you can kind of see here, this is our weight room, so heavy lifting weights, and then we have our cardio room, so treadmills, bikes, ellipticals, um, they're in two separate. So what you do is when you come in, you swipe in with your student ID, and then you can use whatever till your heart's content. Um, it's all included in the cost of tuition. Um, back right over here is our track, and if it's not being used by for practice, you can run. Um, and then we also have a gym for to play basketball. Uh, as long as there's not practice, you can shoot hoops. I know sometimes people do that in between class just to burn off some steam. Um, as far as sports, we have three different levels. We have intramurals, so intramural sports can look like anything from beanbag toss to volleyball to canoe battleship. Um, and those are fun, not practices, just things to do on a Wednesday or Sunday night. Um, you get to meet some people, get to together with some friends. Um, the next level is club sports. So you'll have some practices, competitions are often with like community colleges, um, but it's not to the next level in terms of the collegiate level, which is our third level. Um, so you can see on our website, but we have a long list of sports that we offer as a collegiate level. Um, downstairs of our wellness center, we also have a weight room just for the athletes and locker rooms um, as well. We are now going to go to our residence halls. So this is right inside our freshman residence hall. Um, this is just a lounge area. Uh, Kurt McNeil, that is one side of our freshman residence halls, is co-ed. Your room are single gendered, um, but the floors are co-ed. And then this side is Ostrander, and that is uh, by floor gender. So first floor is guy floor, second floor is girl floor. 
I'm going to look at a room here. So this is just what a basic room would look like. We have um, our beds lofted, which you can bunk them, loft them, just put them down. Um, I think the typical is lofting just to fit the fit everything in there. Um, it comes with the desk, the chair, the bed, dresser. As you can see here, we have shelves, and then you can decorate it till your heart's content. Um, as far as some questions that I would be asked about the residence halls, if the Wi-Fi is good, Wi-Fi is good. Um, you connect when you first get to campus, and you're connected in every part of campus, so that is not a concern. There's not cable in the rooms, but there is in the lounge, so you just go out there to watch your football games anyway, as long as you're cheering for the right team. In other words, the Vikings. Um, this is just another angle of the room. Um, there's no air conditioning, but there is heat, but honestly, you don't really need the air conditioning anyway. Um, you could bring a mini fridge, microwave, but no toasters. Um, there's a kitchen downstairs of the residence hall, so you could use that for. I just kind of communicated with my roommate where she brought the TV, I brought the fridge and microwave. Um, as you can see, the space is limited, but it's definitely possible to make it nice and roomy so you just kind of communicate that way of who's bringing what um as far as meeting a roommate on the uws web page if you scroll down to the bottom there's a link called live at uws and you click that you fill out a profile like clean messy study habits what time you go to bed um and from there they match you up with people and it's not a guarantee whoever you got matched up with that's your automatic new roommate from there, you message the people and see if it's a good fit, um, and then you can request from there. If you want to do random, that is an option as well. Um, that's how I met my freshman roommate. We are roommates again sophomore year, so it was great. And as far as bathrooms, um, there's no bathrooms in the rooms, um, but there is one on every floor for both genders. Uh, there's more access to these pictures on the website as far as long as well, I can't talk <laughs> as well as there we go um, more pictures from the buildings that we toured today um, but thank you so much for going on this tour with me and good luck in your college decisions take care